Ignition phase. When there is sufficient air vapor mixture and the temperature of the substance exceeds its ignition point, the fire starts. This fire can be due to an external heat source, auto ignition, or spontaneous ignition. Spontaneous ignition occurs when certain materials become warm during oxidation, producing more heat, which accelerates the oxidation process. In the ignition or incipient phase, heat flows back to the material due to radiation. It results in a chain reaction enabling the components to sustain fire. Developing phase. During the developing phase, the flame spreads on the surface of the material. After sufficient heating, it gives off vapors which act as the source of heat. Solids and liquids convert to vapor state before combustion. In case of flammable gases, there is a high risk of explosion because the combustion process takes place at an extremely fast rate. The burning speed depends on the rate at which the heat source gives off the vapors and its combustibility. Petrol has a very high surface burning speed, while wood has a low surface burning speed. Absolute Fire Phase In this phase, the heat spread on the surface of the material penetrates into the depth of the solid or liquid. Intense flammable vapor will be generated at this stage. Burning Out Phase The fire continues to burn until it consumes most of the vapor. In the burning out phase, most of the fuel gradually burns out and the fire dies thereafter.